So, you don't really want the collider, you just want to know if something's in front of you. Not a problem. You, my friend, are looking for a raycast. A raycast is just a collider that only checks in one direction. To set one up, first create a variable that determines your raycast range. Then you're going to create a vector 3 variable called direction. And we want it to check directly in front of our object, so I'm just going to say forward. Then you're going to create the actual variable for the raycast. We are just going to call it the ray. And it equals new ray transform.position transform.transform direction direction and it's going to equal our direction multiplied by our range. And if you want to be able to see what you are doing then you are going to have to add this code to tell Unity to draw it for you in debug. Alright, so all this means is that we've created a direction, then we created the raycast in that direction, and we want to be able to see it. If you save and run the game now, you will see your character is now shooting a giant lightsaber straight out. If you change the range, then you can make the raycast longer or shorter. And every time something crosses the raycast it's actually noticing it. An easy way to check what's in front of it is to just use tags. So let's just say you have different types of objects. One's an enemy and one's part of the environment. How do you distinguish between the two? Well if you just go down here and type physics.raycast the ray out raycast hit hit and range and then go down here and say if hit.collider.tag equals equals environment or whatever the name of the tag is print it's the environment else if hit.collider.tag equals equals enemy print it's the enemy. And if you save and run the game now, you'll notice that if an object with the environment tag is in front of you, that code will activate. And if an object with an enemy tag is in front of you, that code will activate instead. That's really it. There's a lot of good uses for raycast. Just to give you a few examples, in my game there's a mission where the enemies are dropping from the sky in pods. And when the pods get close to the ground, they eject out the pod and attack you. Well the code for that is really simple. I just have a raycast and when it detects the floor, it triggers the pod to eject. I also use it to guide enemies through terrain. Rain. Usually enemy fighters will fly through a path, but if they detect a wall in front of them, they'll activate an evasive maneuver to find a way around it. So just use your imagination. Anyway, as always, hope that helps. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.